So I was just about to drive around Parel here on the west coast of Guernsey and uh, there's big barriers across the road, it's all closed. The coast road to Parel Bay or Parel Beach is all closed and I couldn't quite get my head around what was going on. And I've suddenly realised why, it's because uh, this morning we had four, six, seven gales uh, battering the coast of Guernsey and they must have closed this bit of coast road because of the winds were so strong and the the waves must have been smashing over the walls and it's dangerous with stones coming over the wall. So they've closed it. So I'm gonna carry on heading towards Tortoville Church is where I'm heading for. Uh, so we've got a nice drive along. But instead of going around the coast, I'm gonna go inland, which to be honest, is probably gonna be nicer. So welcome on board the car for today's drive along here in Guernsey in the Channel Islands. Hope everyone's doing well. Sit back, enjoy the ride. And uh, it's your first time here to the channel. Welcome to Guernsey. And uh, if you want to see more stuff all about Guernsey, what it's like to live here, remember to subscribe to the channel. And as usual, if you do like this video, remember to hit the thumbs up button. Right, so we've got a lorry reversing in here. So I don't know if there's diversions set up. There's probably not diversions, but we are eventually going to end up, as I mentioned, at Tortoval Church. Because I'm heading just, I'm not actually personally going inside the church. I'm heading somewhere which is right by it. So I thought it'd be nice to do a little drive along to there. So uh, yeah, today we had, um, this morning, high tide was about 10 to 8. We had really, really strong winds. At the time of filming this video, I did a live this morning as well. And I parked at Cobo and it was belting over the wall. But it wasn't quite high tide, it was a few hours after. So I didn't see the main brunt of it, if you like. But we'll get, we'll get there anyway. I got a feeling we'll come out the other end of Parel Bay, uh, just by Morrison's, I think it is. So they've obviously closed it, I assume, because of the, the strong winds. I'm pretty sure they did. But yeah, uh, we'll see some nice houses and lanes as we go along here. So I was gonna go right at the end here, but um, that obviously takes me back onto the road that's closed. So they've got a sign up saying, can't get through, so I'll turn left. So going back inland a little bit more, uh, but we'll eventually get back on the coast. I think I know where to go. I think there's a little road which takes you down back to the coast again in a minute. It's like a weird old day today because I mean, this morning, you know, it was just horrific. We had rain and wind, like horrendous, like, weather and this afternoon the sun's out all right it's still a bit windy but it doesn't seem like it's the same day it's completely changed this is a nice little lane isn't it beautiful around here i don't know if i've been around it much i can't say exactly i know where this is going to bring me out but i've got an idea but sometimes when you do little diversions like this i find it takes you down little roads you haven't been down for a while and it's quite nice sort of reminds you different places uh, yeah, I've got to go right here. I don't think I can go left there. I think... I hope this ain't going to take me to a, a dead end or anything. I don't think it will. I'll be very surprised it does. But yeah, really nice around here. That's lovely. If I've got my bearings right, I think we're probably driving just inland from Parallel Beach, from Parallel Bay. I think we're in the lanes just off the coast road. Um, and it's, uh, it's not a place I've really been down, but it's a nice little area to live around here, nice for walking. Um, I think, I'm hoping, I'm going to come out where I think I am. I have been known to go slightly wrong in these lanes, they take you out somewhere completely differently, but I'm pretty sure we're going to come up by Parallel at Morrison's. Uh, yeah, I think this is looking alright, so I think if we go right at the end, not a bad little diversion now. See some nice, nice little roads in Guernsey. 
Uh, yeah, so left would take us back inland. Right, I'm guessing the road would be closed at the end here. I think you should be able to go left on the coast road, but not right. Uh, yeah, can you see right there? So they've closed it from this end as well. So I tried to get through from the other end. They've closed this end. So it's obviously that stretch of road that they closed due to the bad weather. However, saying that, this car's going through it. That car's just coming from it. So it's obviously, they obviously put it up this morning, but they haven't taken it down yet. Anyway, back on the coast road. So we've got Peril Beach on the right. And uh, we'll be cruising towards the, so what we'll do when we head towards, when we're going towards the Cop and Saucer. When we get to the Cop and Saucer, I'm going to turn left inland. And take us up to Tortival Church. But yeah, nice little ride along the coast here. heading towards Leray, Leray Beach. I'm guessing there might be some sand on the road and all that around there. There's normally the telltale signs, isn't there, of, a, of waves coming over the uh, wall there when you see sand and seaweed and stones all across it. It's all right around here though. Um, but I'll say it was a very, very windy night. I'll leave the link in the description of um, a bit of the footage a few short little videos of the uh, weather I'll leave them in the link in the description there's cars driving through horrific seas along the coast this morning but yeah nice long here nice pleasant day so this is typical of the coast roads if you haven't driven in Guernsey before this is a typical size coast road the roads really don't get any bigger than this to be honest with you um, you know maybe slightly bigger but this is this is probably the one of the nicer roads you get the coast roads see there's not many people around maximum speed limit 35 which is the whole island then it does vary from there 25 20 all these different zones depending on where you are but you can imagine on a motorbike along here it'd be very easy to break the speed limit give it a bit of wind of the throttle and there you'll be off it's uh, well over the speed limit straight away so you do have to keep an eye on your speed on the old motorbikes and cars as well I suppose so this is uh, Leray let me know if you've ever been to Leray Beach a lot of people quite a popular beach common up and there's a really nice Indian restaurant I always mention it when I pass here it's called the Taste of India at, Le at Leray Taste of India at Leray it's uh, really nice I reckon it's one of the one of the best ones in Guernsey some really nice ones it's just on the left, where is it? Dude, it's along here. That's this white building. See on the left is passing it? Taste of India. Really good to eat in and takeaways. If you like Indian food, you will not be disappointed going there. So I'd recommend that place. This big place in front, this blue building, that was the old Leray Hotel. Closed now. I've no idea what's happening with it. There was talks of it turning into a care home and all that, but I don't know what's happening. It's a shame. That's all closed at the moment. Right, nice straight road. Heading towards the Cop and Saucer. Have you noticed all the sand on the side of the roads? That's from last night's win we had. Quite a few stones and sand kicking around. Make sure I don't drive over any big stones.
So if you keep driving on this road, it'll eventually take you to right down south of the island uh, where the Imperial Hotel is. I did a one night staycation at the Imperial Hotel. Have a look on the channel for that. It's a nice location, really nice hotel. I mean, it's not the poshest of hotels, but it's a really nice, um, really nice location for walking. And it was lovely, it was a really nice little place, the Imperial Hotel. It's been there a long time. See, just on the right of the screen, uh, that's the cop and saucer. See that little building with the white little top on? That's, uh, it's, I think it's a maritime museum. It's a, it's a museum inside. It's locally known as a cop and saucer. Just on the right of the screen there, you see the white circle top bit. You go in there, and it's, it's only open certain times. You can go in there, it's good to a good little museum. Uh, I think there's the names of some Guernsey people in there that died on the Titanic. What I remember last time I went in. I didn't even know there's anyone from Guernsey on the Titanic, but there was. So in there. Right, now the right lane on the left is coming up. Because I need to cut inland. And uh, it's a really, really nice little lane. I love this drive. I've done it for years. And, um, where's that saying? Oh, you can't go. Uh, I think we're okay. Yeah, go left here. The only problem with this road is when you meet cars. So if I meet any cars, someone's got a reversal pull in. It is a bit of a problem. But apart from that really nice beautiful little lane uh, this eventually takes you up to Tortival Church so enjoy this little drive up here I will See what I mean about this lane? It's really nice, isn't it? It's really pretty, um, just relaxing. I'm driving really slow. I don't want to drive fast through here because I just like uh, taking my time. That house on the left there is lovely. It's a really peaceful lane. Some people walk down here. There was a sign on the side of the road for a while saying beware of the chickens crossing. Then uh, there were some chickens always crossing the road. You see, I met a car just now that wasn't too bad. You guarantee that you meet a car in the most awkward of places around here. But I'm only driving about 20 miles an hour. A little bit of blue sky. And uh, yeah, absolutely lovely little drive up here. And there we go, I spoke too soon, look, so there's, there's a lorry or some type of van there, and there's horses, so I think I might be able to reverse back here, hmm, I don't know, actually, I think, yeah, there's horses as well, I wonder if, ah, oh, he's flashing me, oh, I think I can turn right and let him pass, yeah. So what I do is I'm going to pull into the little lane on the right. Can you see the horses waiting as well? <laughs> see me at a car and horses at the same time. I told you things like this happen. Oh, I'll let them pass. Just get them to reverse. Reverse it back. Those horses are looking nice. The trouble is it's busy because of the uh, coast road round here. There you go. Look, those horses are well behaved. There we go, there's the horsey. Thanks. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> oh, no, 
again. I told you this was a problem down here. Oh, they're reversing for me. That's nice of them. Yeah, that's the only thing. But, I mean, everyone's sort of courteous. I think she's got more of a space reverse than I have. And it's always... Make sure you always wave. I always wave at people. There's nothing worse than... I've had it where I've reversed down a road for someone. And they just drive straight past and don't even look at you. It really winds me up. <laughs> So I always make sure that if someone reverses me, I give them a big wave and thank and thank them. Because uh, it makes a difference, doesn't it? Right, I'm going to go right in a minute. Is it this one? Uh, no. Mm, yeah, it is this one. Because there's a one just went past. I always get them wrong. There's one just before this, which I've driven down by mistake sometimes. I can see Tortoval Church just on the right there. Can you see it? Nearly there. Gonna turn right here, then it goes down a little dip. From what I remember, yep, down we go. And I'll show you. Can you see Tortival Church? So the parish, Tortival, Tortival Parish Church is just on the right. Get a bit of a, a little bit of a shot of it as we go past. There you are, I can see it there, hidden behind the trees. There we go. It's a parish church. Lovely location. Beautiful. Beautiful lanes. And they've got all these nice little houses as well. Anyway, I'm going to leave the drive along there. So uh, thanks for coming along on the drive along. Remember, if you want to see more stuff on Guernsey, remember to subscribe to the channel. And uh, if you want to see another video, there's one on the screen now. Click the video. And uh, see you next time. Take care.